Hey everyone, welcome to the batching plan. Today, we're diving into the process of concrete trail mix inspection. This is crucial for ensuring the quality and consistency of the concrete we use in construction. Let's get started step one. Design mix check. Before we even pour any concrete, we need to check the design mix. This document specifies the exact proportions of cement, aggregates like sand and gravel, water and any admixtures. It's like the recipe for our concrete. We verify that the mix being used matches the project requirements. Step 2. Trial mix concrete now. We produce a trial mix of concrete based on the approved design. This is our trail mix, a small batch to test before full-scale production. We carefully monitor the batching process to ensure the correct quantities of each ingredient are used. Step 3. Slump and temperature testing, zero. 0, 0, plus 30 mins, plus 60 mins, plus 90 mins. This is where the real testing begins. We're collaborating with a third-party lab to ensure unbiased results. We take concrete samples directly from the truck at specific intervals, right at the start, 0, 0, 0, and then every 30 minutes up to 90 minutes. This helps us track how the concrete's properties change over time. Slump test explanation and demonstration first up is the slump test. This measures the consistency or workability of the concrete. We use a slump cone, a metal cone that we fill with concrete in three layers, tamping each layer with a tamping rod. Then we carefully lift the cone and the concrete slumps down. We measure the height of this slump. A higher slump means a wetter mix, while a lower slump means a drier mix. This is important for ensuring the concrete can be easily placed and compacted. Temperature test explanation and demonstration next. We check the concrete's temperature using a temperature probe. Temperature can significantly affect the setting time and strength development of concrete. We insert the probe into the fresh concrete and record the reading every 30 minutes. This gives us a good picture of how the concrete's workability and temperature are changing over time. Air content test now. We'll check the air content of the concrete. This is especially important for concrete that will be exposed to freeze-thaw cycles. Entrained air creates tiny air bubbles in the concrete, which provide space for the water to expand when it freezes, preventing cracking. We use an air content meter to measure the percentage of air in the concrete. Cylinder preparation for strength testing finally, we prepare concrete cylinders. These are standard molds that we fill with concrete. These cylinders will be sent to the lab for compressive strength testing, bulls and markers, for identifying the concrete cylinder. 